Hello. The Wilson update dropped not too long ago and it sucked. Clay completely ruined the simplicity of Wilson. They gave him some knowledge tree or whatever that sucks. Furthermore, <sighs> the therapist said go easier on the anger, so let's try something else. <clears throat> the Wilson update is pretty good. Before we get into it though, this is my opinion, enjoy and subscribe. I have a couple points to discuss, so let's get into... At first inspection, the Dresstone armor doesn't seem to be of any note, mimicking the stats of the Thulsite armor without the damage negating bubble that appears from time to time. Why go through all the hassle when you can just get Thulsite stuff and be done with it? But my world got turned upside down when I realized the gimmick of this stuff. It regenerates. So essentially, what you get is Thulsite armor that regenerates in trade for sanity. This is busted, and I love it. I trade the Thulsite bubble for regenerating armor any day of the week. The only thing you really have to worry about is getting too comfortable with your dreadstone armor and it breaking on you, and the chore of getting the pickaxe. The boss is another point of interest. The Daywalker is a very good boss. It honest to goodness feels like a breath of fresh air when it comes to combat. The steps done chaining him, while not clear the first time, are league simpler than some other bosses and his fighting style is unique. He doesn't really come at you, like most bosses. It's very difficult to explain, but he gives you some room to breathe. At moments, he builds suspense, waiting to attack, wearing your nerve down, since most bosses would have already attacked by now. The Daywalker has broken the tradition of don't serve together boss attack patterns, those attack patterns being walk at player and attack. The Daywalker has a certain degree of randomness to him, making fighting him really personal, and him being able to combo you in his later phase, intended or not, punishes the player harshly, since his attacks are so well telegraphed, you can only blame yourself. I really, really, really like the Daywalker. What I don't like are... Honestly, the skins are fine. I have a neutral feeling towards them. When I uploaded the Will Skins Be the Downfall of Don't Start Together video, I don't think I really got my point across. I don't really hate skins. Customization is important. What I hate is the quantity of skins that don't start together, and the outrageous prices for them. Some skins are stinkers, some are pretty good, and I really like that they didn't just dump out three or four Wilson skins on us. Speaking of Wilson... I can't really talk about it too much. I haven't played around with it a whole lot. Apart from the skins, this is the only thing I really have no opinion on. It's pretty cool that you can transform stuff and hide stuff in, in your beard, but it is a shame that the Wilson we've known for 12 years is gone. But if I had to choose, I'd pick the rework Wilson any day of the week. And I'd like to see Wilson transmute more stuff as future updates roll out, to make this new skill really bind into the game, if you know what I'm saying. Apart from this, the little menu that pops up when you click on someone has been changed. It's fine except that it darkens all of your screen, leaving you a bit confused for a nanosecond or two. Apart from a few bugs that I found while getting footage, this is a perfect update in my eyes. Honestly, good rework, good boss, good skins, everything. It's almost like they watch my videos and took notes or something. It's weird. Or there's a clay employee living in my walls. Who knows? When lore comes into question, it's very bare bones at the moment. We're gonna have to let clay cook for now. That's about it. Do your daily gritty and subscribe.